Hey everybody, welcome to Hupball. As you can tell, I am playing my Assassin tonight. It's been a very long time since I played her, so I figured it would be nice to mix things up a bit. Now I am playing Hatred, which is the Imperial equivalent of Serenity. So I'm a little bit squishy, but I'm going to grab the ball and Shadow Stride to him. And not knock that guy into the fire like I had hoped. I'm not going to break this yet, but I'm going to resilience this. Um, Alright. So I'm getting some heals. Let's pop some cooldowns and force speed. Nope, got knocked off the ledge. Okay. So did a lot of people. Now I'm gonna have to let me stun him. Pass to somebody soon. Question is, who can I pass to? Oh, I'm just gonna pass to somebody because I'm gonna die otherwise. And yes, I was really hoping it went to an ally. All right, well, the good news is we have the ball and we're close to their area. Um, that one guy's not moving. Is he just sitting in the end zone? If he doesn't move or something soon, I'm gonna vote to kick him just to, um, in case he's trying to stand there to get points or something. All right, I'm gonna actually try to get, well, they have the ball now. Okay, right, he's not moving. So maybe get disconnected, but just in case. He has the option to move, and then he gets uh, reset, and he can stay in the war zone. So an operative is usually a pretty good ball carrier. Oh, and he's rubber banding. And I shadow straight into the fire, but... Oh, I didn't realize there was a PT on me there, I would hit resilience. Alright, they're probably going to score, unfortunately. I had a stun too, but I didn't want to use it because I didn't want to white bar him earlier on. Looks like I should have. All right, well, it's not over yet. It's barely beginning. And we were essentially down a player, so. That scoundrel is probably still in the end zone. Which means we have to burn this guy quickly before he has a chance to pass. All right, got the ball, good. I have uh, almost full HP, so I'm gonna try running it. And not just reset. Also wasn't sure if we had mid. And we do have a pretty good stack too. I'm gonna I'm not gonna pass it yet because this guy's in stealth. He might not see it. And if you're stealth you can't uh, take the ball. Now I do need to pass soon unfortunately. And he was white barred. Alright get ahead dude. Okay, stay there, stay there, stay there. Yes, good job. Let's put a taunt on this guy. Try to get some damage on him. Alright, I think my guy's okay over there. Yes. So I'm gonna start heading back towards mid. And we have the ball, that's good. Tempted to guard that guy because they used to let DPS guard without penalty, but I'm going to stun him. Nope, he's going to stun me instead. Up down all my cooldowns. Actually, I'm going to cloak. That's about all I can do to survive this. And I think I am in stealth, yes. I'm going to go for that health back over there. All right, and just like that, we've taken the lead, but they have the ball, which is not good because we're all on this side of the battlefield. Let's get out of stealth to move a little bit faster here. Yeah, we have some guys on defense, but they have a juggernaut, it looks like, or a guardian. So that does not look good. Jeez, they're doing a lot of damage. Serenity is really squishy, or hatred. I haven't had resilience going, but I guess it was some uh, some attacks that it doesn't resist, some weight damage. Alright, I'm going to stealth just so whoever has it can't like leap to me. Yeah, this guy is literally... I don't know if he's on defense mode or something, but he's just sitting there, which is uh, either he's just trying to get points from being in a game for conquest or something, or he's uh, trying to play like really strict defense, but even if he's doing that, that's not a very good strategy. I'm going to stay up here and not jump down on that guy, because he's probably going to pass up as soon as I do. 
pop some cooldowns so I can hopefully stay alive a bit. Ah. Okay, they're gonna score. I'm gonna die. All right, 2v2. And they have the ball, that's not good. So far, we don't seem to be doing very good at defense, even though we have somebody who's apparently entirely dedicated to being on defense. Yeah, he's just sitting there. This, that's really annoying, because we're 7 v 8 this, essentially. No wonder we're not doing great. Alright, now he's on the ground. But I'm sure he'll be able to pass to somebody, yeah. Okay, we'll have to burn him fast. Probably not going to be able to do, but if we can get him low enough that he panics, yes. Or, what happened to the ball? Yes, okay, I went mid. That's what I figured, although they apparently have mid. And it's a scoundrel, which is not great. He's going to roll now, isn't he? I'm trying to keep ahead of him so I can keep doing damage. Just doing AoE taunt to help my teammates here. I'm not going to have a lot of damage this game because I'm not really focusing on dot spreading so much as single targeting down the ball carrier. I do have resilience at least. Can't quite tell where he went. Use that, uh, where'd he go? Oh crap. Ah! I was keeping Shadow's try because I knew he was going to go for that pass and I was trying to use it at the right time, but I did not expect him to have line of sight that easily. Alright. They have the ball once again. Oh, this is really bad. For some reason, I guess he had hold the line there because my knockback did not seem to do anything. All right, well, I'm not sure to come back from this now. The sad thing is, if that one guy wasn't just sitting there in the end zone the whole time, I'm gonna stun just to try to stay alive. Nope. I feel like we actually would have had a really good chance of winning. Oh, he's either got kicked or something. Yeah, we don't have damage. Or no, he's just standing there. That's really frustrating. Yeah, I mean, I have him as my focus target. You can see he hasn't done anything the entire game. Alright, he tried to pass. Didn't succeed. Uh, I could roll in that guy, but I already have a doubt in him, so it's not worth it. Alright, well, I have the ball, but I have very few defensives left. Yeah. Without a guard or heals, there's not too much I can do. He's definitely moving, so he's not DC'd. He's just trying to get a... I don't know what he's trying to get. Free points, I suppose. So if you're trying to get gear or whatever, there's much better ways to do it. I can get a good line of sight to him. I can shadow stride. Ah. Should knock that guy off first. I am not a burst spec as you can tell. Alright, we got him down. Got a lightning circle me, summon a resilience. And I really should I should probably take the instant lift, because even though I'm a dot spec, so I usually don't take it. It might actually save me in some of these. Yeah, I'm just being stun locked. I couldn't even cloak. Alright, well, not a great way to start the night, but hopefully they all improve from here. Hopefully that guy ends up either on their team, or better yet, just not in a game. Gonna try to vote kick him again. He's probably gonna get involved just enough to reset that. Kill this guy just for fun. And because he could be a target for them to pass the ball to. We have 20 seconds though, so. About the best we can do at this point is prevent them from getting one more point just out of self respect.
All right, we have the ball. Well, it wasn't a win, but at least we ended with the ball. That's something. Um, let me sort by objectives. Yeah, there's their, uh, their scoundrel that got all the points. Definitely their MVP. I'll vote for Merlin because he got a lot of objective points there. And yeah, they had uh, those three guys running around doing a lot of damage to us, which made it really hard to stay on their ball carrier. So good job to them. Um, they also had a lot. I guess we didn't really have a healer. They had, looks like one healer and their main guy did uh, a bunch of off heals as well. Um, yep, and there is Yefreder who did absolutely nothing. So would have been a good game if we had actually had eight players, but is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. See you in a bit.